Right guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video we're going to do the uh, simulation between the Stormers and Ulster. So let's get into it. Jean-Luc Duplessis with a kickoff to this game. It's a high hanging kickoff and uh, well taken by Ulster here. Yeah, Asim Gomez Zulu makes the tackle between the 10 and the 22 meter line. Now Ulster on the attack. Great break up here from the early on as they get it moving. Now they struggle here for the Stormers. It's going to be a clean run here for Ulster and drive down to them from the first play of the game. Wow, Stormers caught napping there and they pay the ultimate price early on. Rob Little gets the try. Trouble early on here for the Stormers. Is that the conversion is going to go straight through as well. So, seven points to nil it is. The Stormers restart again. John de Duplessy a fly off today. Kick off and well taken again by Tom O'Toole now for them. Oh, it's a penalty against Ulster for holding on. Great work there done by uh, Julia Pocamella. And it's going to be an early chance now for Jean de Duplessy to have a shot at goal. Takes his time with this one. And uh, well struck from him. It's seven points to three here as Ulster lead from the King Span Stadium. The restart then. As Engelbrecht takes it in. No support whatsoever here for the Stormers as they lose the ball. Chance for Ulster again as they move it wide. But this time John Duplessy bundles him into touch. Line out on the 10 meter line inside uh, Stormers half here. The throw in will find, oh, it will find one of the Ulster's players and now turn over ball. Trouble here for the Stormers. Driving will set up here by them on the 10 meter line inside uh, Stormers territory. Now they start to move forward. Trouble here for the Stormers. Dwayne Vermeulen gets it out now. Still they come here as uh, Ulster on the attack. Stormers defense holding out the for a minute. Another ball set up here by Ulster, but it has to come out quickly. Stormers defense really good at the moment. Ulster no way through. The defensive line up very quickly here for the Stormers, putting Ulster under pressure and driving them backwards. Will they come though? Here's Ulster on the 10 meter line inside their own half. Bumping tackle again from Rua now. He's made a couple of those already. Now Rua spangles his uh, player backwards, almost up to the halfway line again. Super defense from the, from the uh, Stormers outfit. Oh, it's intercepted by now, but uh, knocks it on in the process. And the advantage now to Ulster. Rock Harris makes the tackle on the halfway line. Still they come. There's Ulster. Good break up. Tom to Tom O'Toole again now. A chance if they move it out wide. Can they make it happen for them? No. They're going to be running into touch on the 22 meter line. Super defense from the Stormers. What's his first throwing? Not finding Marvin Uri. This time finds Willy Engelbrecht. Now Hartzenberg gets the pass out from Gomez Zulu. Puts it on the board. And will find touch run about uh, between the 10 and the halfway line inside Stormers territory. 20 minutes played in this one. The throw in well taken by Alster now. Defensive line needs to be solid. Oh, try to go for the intercept for Hugo Zulu. Opens up space for Ulster. Up to the 22 they go. Still coming is Ulster. Just shy of the 22 of the Stormers now. Oh, throws a little dummy. Beats Pocamilla. Ulster well and truly on the attack here. Oh, great ready angle from him. Now just about 15 meters up from the trial line. 
Dip the pinch from Unaga. Still they come. Ruas makes a vital tackle here. Forms the ball as Ulster. And now putting the pressure on the Stormers once again. Five meters out from the try line. We go the blind side for our tries to go himself now. Only for Marcus Stone in this ball now. Umrida. Stormers have possession. Or do they? No, they don't. It's been turned over. Ten for by Ulster. Oh, Billy Burns goes for a little drop goal. A sneaky one, that is. And gets it over for Ulster. To be by 10 points to 3. 26 minutes gone in this one. John Luke to see again with a restart. This time up to that. Gets underneath it beautifully and gets it for them. But a forward pass from him. And it will be a scrum down to uh, Ulster. Ulster enjoying plenty of possession at the moment. Dwayne Camille controlling that ball off the back now. Set piece uh, move coming up from him. And White right go again. Trouble for the Stormers. The tackle made by Clayton Blomick is beautifully done. Steals the ball on the ground. Will there be support? No, it comes back for Ulster. Pocamela again with a thumping tackle. Stormers have stolen this ball again, but unfortunately the support on the ground not quick enough, and Ulster gets it back yet again. Now overlap here for them, but Ian Mellis really brilliantly and turns it over. Now can the Stormers do something with this one? No, there's a loose pass to Ulster, back they get it. More trouble now for the Stormers. As Ulster inside the 22. Pumping tackle again. Ruanel. Pocamela and Ruanel making some vital tackles. A brilliant running angle again from, her, from the hook. No rubbing. Just so close from the trial line now. Just a meter short. Oh, they're going to get over. Pumping tackle from the Stormers. Brilliant stuff. And I think it's Pocamela again. We make the tackle, Gwen for the and can't get over. Then they come, superb defense from the Stormers. Can they hold on? Now they work the blind side again as Ulster. Marvin Rudy makes a good tackle, pushing them backwards. Bocanella, turn on Gwen for the end. Turn over the ball, Dixon has got it down. And back out to Cornell Smith. Sure has the miracle offload. And into touch goes the Stormers. Under pressure here, five feet is up from the road try line. Boy, oh boy. Line up taken well by Alston now. Trouble if they move this one wide. They do get it out wide, but it will be a try for Alston. As they get over for their second try of this game. And now Luke Marshall gets it. 15 points to three with the conversion to come. 17 points to 3 and it's a mountain to climb for the Stormers here. Now Jean de Pupesi restarts it again. Artenberg chasing up after it. Totsa makes a vital tackle there. Ali for Mark over that quickly. Artenberg chasing this one down. That one is not going to find touch now. Clayton Blomikis gets it out to Cornell Smith. Back to the Pamiris. Now puts a poor pass there from Neil and he takes it. Good tackle there from John to get the sea. Now Dwayne for Neil and up to the 10 meter line. He goes and still going. Lewis makes a good tackle there. Still comes Dwayne for Neil and. Oh, still going is Dwayne. Now gets the offload away. Pokemela beaten. Still comes Alston now 10 meters up from the trial line. Going the blind side, Cornell Smith beats it very well. Under pressure is the Stormers here. It's all Ulster at the moment. Can the Stormers survive this onslaught? Another good tackle from uh, the Stormers. We've seen some incredible line breaks from Ulster today. Now Marvin Uri has picked it for the Stormers now. Again, just trying too much with it. Is uh, the Stormers, and now they get a penalty for the effort. 
and uh, the Stormers decide to tap and kick it into touch. 17 points to free at half time. It's all Ulster at the moment. As we get the second half back underway. Now, it's well taken by Ingo Brach. Hartzenberg now sets it up. Stormers just can't keep their hands on the ball, it seems. As Ulster gets an early turnover. White as well. Now, Cornell Smith will have to defend this. Can he get there? No, he can't. But uh, Clayton Blomikis does so brilliantly. Storm is under immense pressure here early on in the second half as well. Potter with a throw in finds Marvin Uri now. Umrega, Duplessis, they're going to run this from their own trial line as the Storm is now. Ruanel out to Hartzenberg. He's going to put it on the boot and not going to find touch. Here comes Ulster on the attack now. Just outside the 22, Marvin Uri has picked it now for him. Here comes Ruanel. It's only for Mark. Gets it out to Sean and keep the sea. Keep the sea still going. Now puts in a little grab a kick. And Kronos with bumps them into touch. It will be a line up to the Stormers. Watson now with a throw in to this line out. What can they do with this one? To the back. Go on. Stolen by Alster again. There's nothing happening for the Stormers today as uh, they're struggling against this Ulster side away from home. Still they come as Ulster now. Slowly but surely now. Potter stolen this. Here's a chance now. Gomez Zulu goes to the little kick over the top and the chase is on now. Will he get there? No, it's going to be uh, Ulster who gets there first. And uh, what a clearance kick from him as well. As uh, Billy Burns gets it up to between the 22 and the 10. Nothing working out for the Stormers outfit at the moment with 30 minutes to play. Then Jason Dixon now Umraga. Tiplessi runs straight and Bill comes Snell up to Hartzenberg. This is much better from the Stormers now. Pass back on the inside with no support there unfortunately. And Ulster gets it back again. Just great running. Lines here from Ulster at the moment. Support play there for them as well. The Stormers are struggling to keep up. Good defense there from Hartzenberg. Stormers will have to try and get back into this as the kick downfield from Burns will be picked by Clayton Blomikis now. He's going to have a run. Can he get past? Yes, he can. Now, what can he do? Close it up, dummy, but nobody's falling for it. Will the Stormers get possession back? No, they won't. Turnover, Ulster. Still under pressure. Here's the Stormers now as uh, Ulster comes on a counter attack. No way through here for the Stormers today. 20 minutes to play. Potts has turned this over now. Brock Harris out to Dixon now. Duplessis again. Support just not there at the moment for the players as that ball is going to be touched down and it will be a 22 meter restart. Oh, it's not, if it's not your day, it's not your day. What's over the throwing to this line out? Marvin Uri gets it well now. Unrega, Duplessis again. Now Mbome Zulu, back to Clayton Blomik, he's now Ruanel, this time he's got support. Will you find it? Yes, Cornell Smith on the inside, now Mbome Zulu. Mbome Zulu out to Hartzenberg. Hartzenberg out to Jean Lecouk, the seat back to Mbome Zulu now. Keeping tackle there on him. And somehow the Stormers lose this ball again. Well, it's just not happening for them today, is it? They get in a good position, but support play just not there for them. And now O'Toole having a crack here through the Stormers defense. Can something change in this game? Oh, big tackle from Ruiz. Stormers still unable to get a try in this game. 
Will try and valiantly though. Almost up to the halfway line is Ulster. Oh, a little knock on there. And it will be a scrum down to the Stormers. Let's see if we bring on a few fresh legs here in this one. Scrum feed to come from Umraga. Big scrum. One on the ground now. Ruas now. Gets it out to Umraga. Do a pass and stolen by Alster again. Oh, great running angle from Alster and nearly away here. With very little time to play. There's nothing happening for the Stormers outfit today. Turnover now, Ngomi Zulu. Yes, quick hands needed now from the Stormers as Rua now gets away. Gets the pass out to Cornell Smith. He goes with the kick over the top now. Makes the tackle. Oh, here comes the counter attack from Alston now. Ngomi Zulu makes the tackle. So comes Alston. Great support play from him. And that's been the difference between the two sides today. The support from uh, Ulster much better than that of the Stormers today. Here comes Hudson back now. And there's exactly what we spoke about. Another turnover. Lewis makes the tackle on the inside. Eight minutes to play. There's no answer for this. So Ulster well and truly dominating this game. Inside the 22 they go. Oh, what a run. It's been coming all night for the Zipper. And what a win has got it for Ulster now. 22 points to three after three. And the conversion to come with five minutes to play. Goes over and uh, too little too late. Here for the Stormers. As they ring on a couple of changes here. So to Ulster. Upton back with the restart. That is going to go into touch. It's going to be a Stormers lineup. As uh, Skaran Tudeni with the throw in. Finds his jumper ribbon from here to now. Ball hitter gets it up to Rupnal now. Come Sulu. You are now again. As the storm has won a single ball on the ground today. Here they come again now. Clayton Blomitis out to ball hunter. Backing Gomez Zulu. Knocks it backwards. Cornell Smith have managed to pick that up. But throws it loosely for Ali Vermark. And turnover by Ulster again. Incredible how poor the uh, Stormers have been today. Last scrum as the Ruta goes in the background and uh, the scrum feed goes in at the back. Ruas again now, Volhata, Umraga, nobody there. And su not surprisingly, the Stormers have to defend again. Uh, Ulster said uh, they're going to have one more go at it here. He's throwing the ball around. As they please at the moment. Again, now Tomo to back it comes. This time they're going to go on. Oh, it's still running this. And don't give it a damn about the full time. They're just playing around with the Stormers at the moment. Incredible scenes here at Ulster. Now they find a bit of space as well. Just going with the pass to the back here. And this time they kick it downfield. Who's there at the back? Ruanel is back for it. And Ruanel now under pressure. Oh dear, oh dear. It's not working out for the Stormer side today. 
penalty for holding on. And uh, just ended already. They're not going to end it. They will have one last go at this uh, Stormer side. And this time the Stormer steals this ball and Wolhutter will just thump it into touch. We have 24 points to free the feet here at the Kings Fan Stadium. For the Stormers fans, I don't think you enjoyed it too much, but for the Ulster fans, well, <laughs> let's hope it's not going to be the final score tonight. Until next time, this is the Rapid Guru. Cheers for now.